Hello, my name is Will Carmack and I'm going to be showing you how to track on the interface of the viewfinder of a camera into any kind of scene. This would be perfect for any kind of intro to a TikTok or any kind of film where you want to display photos. Adding little motion graphics to videos like this always make them more engaging. So use this effect on your Instagram or your TikTok or your YouTube to boost that engagement, baby. And before we hop into this incredible tutorial, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So you can tell in the reference material that I have the viewfinder like locked in onto the couple. Those assets are tracked onto their body. So we're gonna select the clip that we wanna start tracking and we're gonna to go to the beginning of the frame and in our tracker panel, we're gonna hit track motion. For this specific scene, I know this is kind of insane, but the shadow on her chest worked perfectly as a track marker. And so now once we have our tracking data, we'll go to layer, new and null object. And in the tracker panel, we'll hit edit target and we'll click on the layer two for our null and we'll hit okay. And then back on our tracker panel, we'll put apply and okay. So now you can see we have this beautiful null right here that we can apply anything to. We will rinse and repeat that for our second person and the shadow in his shirt cut should work really well. Let's see, beautiful. And now once we have this tracking data, we'll go to layer, new, null object, edit target, and we'll put it on there. For the sake of organization, I'll rename this null to dude, and I'll rename this one to lady, lady and dude. So what we're gonna apply first is the little square box that like tracks onto a video or a camera. So how I'm gonna make my first little asset is I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and I will use this. I'll get rid of the stroke and I will use this to create a little mini bracket, just like so. And then I'll pre-compose my little dude here and name it bracket one. And if we right click on the bracket, we can go to layer styles and add a stroke and they're kind of gray like this. I'll move the anchor point to the corner of this dude here and I will scale it down to be like a normal size for like a camera viewfinder. This looks good. So I'm going to duplicate it and, and in the effects and presets panel, we can type in flop and bring it in just like this. Click on these two brackets and hit control D to duplicate those. Bring them down like this. Rotate it 90 degrees. For a reference layer, you can create a, a rectangle like this. Bring it underneath of your brackets and make sure they line up precisely how you'd want. And now you can delete the shape layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of these brackets that I just made, and then I'm going to right click and pre-compose and I'll name it brackets. And then I will link this null object and the parent link to null 13. And so now when you watch that back, it is following our subjects running. And now the next thing, and I thought this was really creative, was the little green dots that like constantly move and shift when you're trying to focus on somebody with a Sony camera. So I actually did something clever and this is how I recommend anybody doing it. This is gonna sound absolutely crazy, but I actually filmed my camera focusing against a wall in a dark room. So this is the footage that I got. I shot this with my iPhone. And if you don't know, when your background is entirely black like this, it basically acts as a green screen, especially if the thing that you want cut out is like really bright. So use your iPhone to film your camera as you're holding down the focus button so you get all of these little icons showing up. And then what I did, was I used the pin tool. You can see these little guys right here. We wanna make sure that we're inside those, bam. So now we just have the flickering green lights. And you can see, I just turned the transparency on, that this is still against a black background. So what we're gonna do is in the effects and presets, we're gonna type in the effect extract, which gets rid of dark and light images. So down, so if I crank up the black here, you can see what's happening. I'm getting rid of the black background. And if we watch that back, now we just have an alpha layer of just the green things moving around. And then I'm gonna right click on this clip, pre-compose it, and I'm gonna name it Focus Dots. And so now to kind of like make this a little prettier, what I'm gonna do is I'll isolate this layer really quick and I'll type in the fill effect. And I'm gonna type in fill and make it whatever green color that I want, like this. Now it stands out and pops way more. And I will select the parts of it that I really like, like right here. I will unsolo this and I will scale it down and I will put it on the body of the person I want tracked. And now we're gonna use the parent link and track it to our lady. So now this is tracked to our lady like this so it stays on her body and it looks like the camera is trying to focus on her. And what I did to make this really pop is I added a glow effect. So if you add glow, you can crank up the radius. So if you make them glow a little bit, they just pop out a little more.
more. So now you have these glowy green dots that are like trying to focus on your lady. And then I will duplicate this clip and instead of linking it to the lady, I'll link it to the dude and I'll move this on him. And I'll offset this animation so it's a bit different, like the movement of these green dots. So now as we play this back, we get this cool look of the camera trying to like locate and focus our subjects. Now really that's all the tricky part. And now to recreate like the actual black lens part of your camera, what I'm gonna do is I'll hit Control Y to make a new shape layer and I'll make it black. And then I'll click on nothing and come up to the shape layer and do rounded rectangle tool. And I will make a rounded rectangle like this. If we solo this layer, you can see what that looks like. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it as an alpha mat for my black solid. So take the track mat layer and hit the shape layer and you just wanna click invert right here. So now you have a little border around your camera and in the shape properties window right here, um, because you're using the shape layer as an alpha mat, you can then customize this black solid. So you can then crank up and down like the roundness and you can unlink the size properties here and bring up the scale like this. So you kind of have like the viewfinder look. Now this, this looks beautiful. And then to add all the little micro details of the camera, we can go to Google and type in camera interface. Well, we'll type in camera interface PNG. I will link this in the description below, by the way. But then we can drag our PNG into our um, video and we can solo this and set it to like a black background. And we can actually just use a sequence of masks to select the pieces that we want. We can move this up to the top. What I'll do is I'll actually just put the battery pack right here. And then after a while, once you're cutting out like the interface pieces that you want to include in your edit, you have something like this, which is a beautiful recreation of what you're looking at through a viewfinder and a camera. If you take your brackets layer and then if you put on the fill effect and then you turn it to green, if you hit E, you can drop down the fill effect and under compositing options, you can keyframe effect opacity uh, from zero to 100. So like the moment you're about to take a picture right here, you see that it slowly turns green like bing, and you incorporate that with some incredible sound design. It just works really well. And then we can come up to layer, new and adjustment layer, and we can drop in the curves effect on that. And right after the brackets turn green, you can create a keyframe for curves and over like a split second, you can crank it to be super bright and overexposed like this. So it's like bing, bam. So it gets super bright and then it can go back down. So right there is when you would make your transition and add a beautiful camera sound effect. And so that ladies and gentlemen is a motion graphics-y way to make your videos really pop if you wanna include like a camera interface. This works well for any kind of before and after type of TikTok, BTS reel or anything. So use this trick to your advantage and make your stuff look more engaging. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below or follow me on Instagram. I always respond to my messages about editing questions. And if you wanna support me and supporting you become a better editor, please check out my incredible sponsor, Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is your best option for making a website. If you want incredibly customized and personalized website, well, you're in luck because with Squarespace's new design system, Squarespace Blueprint, you'll be able to select from professionally curated templates. So you'll be able to pick a design that is good for your vibe or brand. And with their optimized SEO tools, you'll be able to get discovered way faster and way easier. And let's say you're a business person and you've got products you want to sell. And with Squarespace's flexible payments, you'll be able to accept every form of currency, Apple Pay, credit cards, PayPal. You'll even be able to use pay later features. So your online store can sell your goods and you'll be able to make it as convenient as possible for your customers. And lastly, if you don't want to rely on just the professionally designed templates that Squarespace offers, Squarespace's Fluid Engine lets you edit and customize from your launching off point. So you can use one of these templates as your starting point. And then from there, use all of the incredible editing tools that Squarespace offers for you to make every page look exactly how you like. And everybody, the best part is I got you a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll be able to get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope you all check them out. And don't forget, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.